All right, so here's the otherworldly mixed martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has bullets in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbulla in his corner. And if Hasbulla didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov has graced the octagon. He's ready to fight. So here he is, the former two-division UFC champion, George Rush St. Pierre. He's the most prolific takedown artist on paper in UFC history. Despite not having any amateur wrestling chops to speak of, this is a man who, at least in my mind, turned the MMA takedown into a thing of you. Yes, he did. He made it all look so smooth and so great. But it was the striking of George St. Pierre that was so good that made you have to be on awareness the whole time. So as the hands flew up, George St. Pierre had the timing that was unmatched at the time in mixed martial arts. One of the first guys that was truly able to do everything. Before we had specialists, and then we had George St. Pierre. He truly changed the game. Hall of Famer George Rush St. Pierre. Once again, ready to engage in a big spot here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC lightweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Habib the Eagle. And now we're his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC middleweight champion and former UFC welterweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, George Rush St. Referee Herb Ready Dean fight. will handle the action Ready. in the octagon. Let's do it. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight, but if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution. Big double leg level change. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use Brown and Pound to open up submission opportunities. Yeah, he's a half guard here. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crab can be mature about this, DC. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Oh, nice. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Nurmagomedov. Great job landing from the top position. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by GSP. 
Another ground and pound strike lands. Bar working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Working out of the half guard here. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. This is where he wants to be. Three minutes in our opening round. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nurmagomedov. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. <laughs> Change of the position. Nurmagomedov's right back to the full mount here. Work. I need from the top. Yep, gotta be very careful there. In the half guard, you can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just gotta move. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nirmago Meadow. Oh. You gotta get full guard back. Come on now, you gotta get full guard back. Come on. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nurmago Medov. Get the ball here. All right, setting up the arm bar here. Beautiful setup on that arm bar. Long sight, there it is. He's got it locked in. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Beautiful transition. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. St. Pierre's in half goal. There it is, now he's on the bottom. 20 seconds left. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Final seconds of the round. So there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gunshot. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Solid takedown right there. Fighter 
trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Ball staying busy, fighting off of his back, and he lands. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing. Oh, how about the transition with the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Not the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He's having his way with him here. Dominated and is able to reverse position. Pretty productive with the strikes here off his back. Now he's going full mount. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pitting back. He's not side. touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. This is a terrible position. He Bottom fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Nermago Meta. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Great shot from the top position. <laughs> nice positional control here. Beautiful submission attempt here. Oh, that looks tight. to the mouth. Not a great position, but much better than getting his arm snapped in half from an arm ball. Nice shots landing from the top position. Oh, hard ground strike there, and that one opened up a cut. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Oh, well, now he's attacking arm triangle. Oh, that looks tight. Might be the beginning of the end. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the out and just go for the finish. Sam Pierce right back to the full mount. Postures up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, buddy, take a seat. Deep breath, buddy. Great round. Very, very, very close to getting those submissions. I want you to be a little bit more careful. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? 
just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, DC is back from the concession stand as we get in. our next round underway. And you had to like what you saw in terms of the volume and the efficiency on the feet in that previous round. Oh, he did a great job of just being active, really setting down on those right hands, showing that it was not only going to be striking, but a lot of significant strikes landed over the course of that round. Nurmago Medov's in half guard now. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is, yeah, he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip so he can get pressure. To... Oh, he's out, the fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Nurmago Medov. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. St. Pierre's in half court. Great ground and pound by this man. Another ground and pound strike lands. Nice shot lands from the ball. And there you go again, half guard. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Medoff's back in full mount. Oh, good defense, yes. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nermago Medoff. Mm, nice. Full side control now. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Nurmago Medov's back inside control here. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. And he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. Well, his grappling has been on point thus far, and don't think he's going to slow down. He can keep up this pace through the whole fight. Especially when he's on top, in the top position, where he's controlling the exchanges, controlling the transitions. He can do it with his eyes closed. This is something he's been doing since he was a young man. About two minutes here to go on right. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is tight. Oh, a submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Great submission defense. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Gotta be careful here. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. <laughs> Oh, 
set up here. Nice setup with that arm ball. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Take a seat. Listen to me. Sit back, relax, okay? You did break that round. Let's finish this fight on the ground. I want you to go out there and put him down again. He has All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent Ready from fight. the top position. Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go with our next round, and thankfully for his opponent, it begins on the feet, because his face was turning into mincemeat with that ground and pound in the previous round. Oh, he got demolished, man. It was punches, it was elbows, it was transitioned into the elbows. I mean, he was so, he had so much more knowledge in this area that although his opponent is a great ground fighter, jiu-jitsu goes out the window when you're getting punched in the face, and there was no better example of it than what we just saw in the previous round. Yeah, but he's got him secured in the half guard now. Side control, he's pretty safe there. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by GSP. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Well, St. Pierre's in half guard. Just over three minutes to go now. Get your hips back. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by St. Pierre. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Oh, he got to the spot. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Nurmagomedov. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters after an extended grab. Oh! All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here in there. He's got to start throwing down. Let's go. One minute left in the round. 
Under a minute to go. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Ten seconds remaining in round four. And Marco Medov's trying to lock up on a submission now. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. Wow, Two hands in the can, five to go. So there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react you real ready quick. Fight? Ready. Here we go. Fifth and final round. All right, next round is underway. We saw one submission attempt in the previous round, and you know moving forward, this guy is all about submission over position. You saw one in the previous round. Look forward to him trying it again and again and again until he finds the submission. Nermago Medov going for the takedown. He misses. The next one, a beautiful jab. Slips. Oh, that was a big one there. That guillotine is tight. That guillotine choke is getting very close. He's got to lock the guard, though, if he wants to finish. A lot of takedown defense, or, sorry, submission defense is just being caught and patient. Oh, great submission defense. Well, St. Pierre's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get... Oh, he's going triangle here. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, he got out. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Nice transition. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. and work here by Nermago Meta. Oh, big elbow. Good work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Oh, oh, watch the arm here. What a tight arm bar. Oh, that has got to be it. And there's the top. Absolutely remarkable.
remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight as you can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. All right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. You heard it there from Buff. He gets it done by submission tonight. I mean, this is his world. When you're having to grapple with Khabib Nurmagomedov and spend extended periods of time on the ground, you're constantly under duress. You're constantly in danger. And Khabib finds his position, gets a submission victory.